Hello and welcome to the channel everyone. Shweta here today with my beauty project for expressions craft. I have created a mixed media canvas with patina effect using mainly the paints and the gel medium to achieve the effect. Also in this tutorial you'll see how I used some chipboard negatives to form the layout. To start with I used an MDF base and completely covered it with Art Essential Heavy Gesso White from Expressions Craft. This gesso is a very creamy and thick formulation and usually one coat is sufficient. After drying the gesso with a heat After drying the gesso with a heat gun, I applied crackle texture paste on the base through a beautiful stencil from Expressions Craft. This texture paste reveals beautiful little cracks as it dries up, but it's important to let it air. Uh, now while it dries, I'm going to cover all my embellishments with white gesso. Here I have some frame chippies, roman numerals, some gear chippies, some background design chippies, handmade flowers all from Expressions Craft. I also had kept the chipboard negatives of the designs that I used up in my previous DT posts and will be using them here. Next I have some clay embellishments but I ended up using only a few of these pieces. Here comes the interesting part, the composition. Here I just try to figure out what goes where best and then adhere it with a hot glue gun. These chipboard negatives are not all that pretty but are a great way to add layers and depth to your projects. After adhering everything, I'm going to mix some deco stones with the art gel medium and apply it to fill in the gaps. The deco stones are a great way to add beauty and dimensions to your projects.
after all this is done, I'll be covering the whole thing with white gesso again. Before I started colouring, I changed my mind and applied the crackle textured paste to the same stencil on the rest of the canvas as well. I am using the dark shade, the hunter green metallic paint and covering the base first. You can see me diluting the paint with a lot of water for a subtle effect. I used the paint on my composition and applied it all over. Over. Then I used the chalk paint Tiffany and started dabbing it randomly over the hunter green metallic paint. I mix some sprinkle glitz and sand with the art gel medium and applied it on the composition. I apologize for going a bit out of the frame here. The sprinkle glitz and sand mixed together created very fine and beautiful textures on the composition. Next Next up is brownie rust metallic paint. I dry brushed it randomly over my composition using my fingers to rub it wherever necessary. This really did wonders and brought out a great pattern of finish.
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.